The Transitional Pain Service is based at the Toronto General Hospital and is a specialist pain service with the mission of providing multidisciplinary pain management and support for opioid weaning up to six months after major surgery. This case report describes the post-surgical management of Mr. P, a patient who presented with complex chronic pain and high-dose opioid dependence, who came to the attention of the Transitional Pain Service team after urgent surgery. We will describe how the multidisciplinary team approached his care with the goal of managing his pain and opioid use. He had a complex medical history which involved multiple pain conditions, substance dependence and high opioid use, as well as the use of over-the-counter medications which resulted in a gastric ulcer and necessitated surgery. His team was very concerned about high pain intensity and opioid use postoperatively and made a referral to our transitional pain service. Uh, initially, a TPS physician assessed the patient, and our nurse practitioner team was also involved and initiated a trial of uh, opioid sparing uh, gabapentin, which would both manage his pain as well as reduce the amount of opioids he would require for the quality of pain that he was having. And Mr. P was happy overall with his treatment. He felt stable in the hospital and was happy to continue our, his care with our team as an outpatient in the transitional pain. Mr. P was out of hospital, the first priority was to get him off of his fentanyl patch. It's clear that fentanyl patches long term for non-cancer pain are not appropriate. Fentanyl patches should be pretty much reserved for the cancer pain population and those in the palliative stages of life. We decided that when he was now on his 460 oral morphine equivalents leaving hospital, an aggressive tapering strategy and weaning from that patch would be needed. We ended up uh, getting him down to about 300 milliequivs uh, of oral morphine, but that still exceeds significantly the safe opioid guidelines and safe dosing. So we realized it was time to implement a multidisciplinary team to help him wean further. Psychological services were an integral component to Mr. P's recovery. He expressed an interest in learning new ways to manage his pain and spoke with the TPS clinical psychologist to begin acceptance and commitment therapy, or ACT. ACT is a type of behavior therapy that incorporates both acceptance and mindfulness. Through mindfulness, participants learn to cultivate present moment awareness and non-reactivity to pain sensations in service of living a valued life. We worked with the pain psychology team to learn to use the ACT Matrix visual tool. The ACT Matrix teaches increasing awareness of our inner experience, including our pain and suffering, as well as who and what matters to us. Patients are taught to use the ACT Matrix to notice the actions they take to move away from what hurts and actions they take to move towards what matters to them. With the help of the ACT Matrix, Mr. P learned to recognize that he was stuck in a cycle of pain and avoidance, as he was using his opioids to not only treat his pain, but also the emotional suffering that contributed to his pain. Mr. P worked very hard to develop a values-based approach and resolved to make meaningful toward use, even in the short term when it led to more pain. He could have been on opioids for a long time and, and escalate to very high-dose opioids. Quite often, the pain sparing effects start to diminish and the side effects start to increase. If classic tapering doesn't work, then we can introduce things like buprenorphine naloxone combinations. You can actually have less of the complications and less of the side effects, and patients have a less risk for respiratory depression and overdose. Not all patients in withdrawal are good candidates for the buprenorphine and naloxone combination, but in Mr. P's case, the psychological distress made him a good candidate, so TPS physicians suggested a sublingual formulation. On the first day of his induction, Mr. P was given 12 milligrams of the combination over the course of his first day. But by the end of the second day, he was still experiencing withdrawal symptoms, so his dose was raised to 24 milligrams, and he was given a five to seven day follow-up appointment. By the end of the first week, he proclaimed that he felt like Superman. This rapid and unanticipated decrease in his pain levels was associated with an increased level of engagement with meaningful life activities. What's really exciting to us about this case is how it was the combination of mindfulness and behavior change and the right medicine that really made it possible for this patient to thrive.